Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. Uh, a shorter, long form video today. Um, wanted to talk to you about how I failed an organization. Uh, last fall, I signed up to foster dogs through Rocky Mountain Puppy Rescue. So my plan was you get a dog, comes lives with you for a few weeks, and hopefully gets adopted. But the problem is, not necessarily a problem, they gave me this guy here. Wes, come here. Come on up. Come on up. People want to see you. Yeah, come on. They gave me this guy. He was about six months old at the time I got him. Should look at the camera. And yeah, yeah, good boy. And I had him for almost a week and I fell in love with him. And I couldn't let him go, so I adopted him. So I'm what they call a foster fail. And this is where I kind of need your help. Rocky Mountain Puppy Rescue operates on a fostering system. They don't have a shelter or a building or cages or anything like that. So what you do is you sign up the foster, they vet you, and they will assign you a dog that they get out of New Mexico. This is why this is important. These dogs in New Mexico, I, these dogs in New Mexico come out of kill shelters, so they don't last too long. They come in, and if they're not considered for adoption within a short period of time, they're euthanized, and that's sad. And so this organization, hey, guy, get over here. So this organization rescues about 20 or 30 at a time, brings them out of New Mexico up here to Denver, and gets them out, allocated to fosters, um, various ages, some of them are only a few weeks old. Um, so that, that's kind of what you may get. This guy was six months when I got him. Uh, if they didn't get him out of the shelter, he probably would have been euthanized and he wouldn't be here right now. So this is my happiness right now. I've got two dogs. Maximus is another one I adopted through the same organization. He's in the backyard somewhere, probably snoozing. Um, but this is where I kind of need your help. Um, I failed this organization because my intent was to foster, get a dog, pass them on, and move them along. Um, so they need, always need fosters. Um, so what I'd like you to do is go to rmpuppyrescue.org. I'm going to put the link down in the, in the video below. And consider becoming a foster to a dog. What's your responsibility? You will bring the dog home, uh, welcome in. You may need to potty train. Uh, I had to with Wesley here, uh, it, but in a few months, you know, once he got, once we got through the Christmas holiday, uh, he could let me know that he had to go. Uh, so this is good. Yeah, you did very good on potty training. Um, so you'll do that. Uh, they provide food. They provide support. Yeah, this is hard because um, I think of all the dogs that don't get out and. It's terrible. Um, so your responsibility would be to foster the dog and to bring them to an adoption event on a Saturday once a week. Uh, it's a location in central Denver. Uh, so they, they have weekly events there. Your other responsibility is if the dog had not been spayed or neutered. You've got to get them to a drop-off point so they can be brought to a doctor to address that. You'll have to deal with the after effects of that um, since it is surgery. Um, so that's a lot of it. Yeah, are they going to poop and pee on your carpet? Probably. Uh, I'm going to put in a link to a video at the end uh, showing my week with Wesley and the uh, process of getting him and bringing him home. Um, and I think you can kind of tell in the video I wasn't ready to let him go uh, to somewhere else. So Wesley's been a good boy. He's eating all the apples off my apple tree in the backyard, so he's getting some good fiber. And fortunately, I don't have many apples this year because of it. Um, but I'll get over it. But this was this has been so rewarding for me for both Wesley and Maximus being into my life. Um, the reason I haven't taken on another dog is I've got a lot of personal things going on right now. If you've seen some of my other videos, you know uh, what's been going on. Um, so I can't do a third dog right now. I think that would drive my daughter crazy um, since she 
since she lives here with me. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, considering you open up your heart and your home to a dog that deserves a chance. So, that again is rmpuppyrescue.org. Uh, thanks for listening, and we'll see you in the next video.